Hello everyone, I'm Iftikhar from T-Motoverse. The Komodo 450SR, also known as the Kawasaki 500 Rival and the Yamaha R3 Killer, has been a sensation since its concept phase, becoming a viral phenomenon. Just mention the 450SR, and you're sure to draw a crowd, which is why I'm here today. The 450SR's rise to internet fame isn't just due to its impressive features, Komodo savvy marketing has played a crucial role. Let's dive in without delay. We'll start with the design. Regardless of personal opinions about Komodo's products, their aesthetic appeal is widely acknowledged. The 450SR retains the color palette and overall design of the concept model, continuing the family look established by the 250SR. Notably, the factory has added a pair of bold fixed winglets, enhancing the bike's visual impact. However, the exhaust pipe seems somewhat lackluster. Compared to the concept's elevated rear exhaust, it lacks excitement. From what we've seen, the design from the fuel tank to the fairing suggests a bike with over 400 cubic centimeters displacement, but it might feel too slender for its large frame. Aside from the winglets, the 450SR's design doesn't surprise. It follows established path. Moving on to the 450SR's finer points, we've gathered that quality control, detailing, and craftsmanship are top concerns. The 450SR's curb weight is a mere 168 kilograms. Kfmoto has retooled and selected materials to lighten the bike, while adding heft to many components. This process has resulted in a host of unique accessories exclusive to the 450SR. Let's examine the boards. By listening, you can discern the board's thickness and the assembly's snugness, which are satisfactory. The details, like the faux carbon fiber patterns, may not exude the same premium feel as the soda parts. If it's screwed in from underneath, a gap may be present. You might wonder about potential vibrations or noise. However, in practice, no unusual sounds are detected. The wind stabilizers are reportedly durable, withstanding aging well, and are only likely to incur scratches from reversing maneuvers. It's challenging to break them, though I haven't had the chance, or the nerve, to test that today. Regarding the fuel tank, it's entirely metallic, devoid of plastic components. Its robust shape not only looks substantial but is also ergonomically designed for easy integration with the bike, providing excellent support during maneuvers like side scraping or more dynamic moves. The exhaust pipe is self-explanatory. Moving on to Komodo's latest feature, the running water light has been replaced by a more visually appealing LED main light. The tail light is also distinctive, employing a breathing light activation. When the 450SR roars to life, it's not just the engine that stirs excitement. The experience feels ceremonial. Notably, the 450SR is designed to handle muddy conditions with ease. A cleverly designed movable baffle on the lower connecting plate acts as a shield against rain and mud. Even during aggressive cornering, the fender integrates seamlessly with the bike's movements, ensuring that the baffle poses no risk to riding safety. The 450SR also boasts a luxurious new instrument panel, a 5-inch TFT color screen, that rivals the clarity and texture of modern smartphones. Unlike typical plexiglass displays, this screen resembles a smartphone display, promising an upscale feel, though long-term quality remains to be seen. At its heart, the 450SR retains the robust 449 cubic centimeters twin-cylinder engine, known for its impressive 49.6 horsepower and 28.7 pound-feet of torque. The engine's unique 270-degree crankshaft design provides a smooth and responsive riding experience. The 450SR's design continues to impress with its trellis chassis, 37mm USD forks, and monoshock suspension. The 17-inch aluminum alloy wheels, that are equipped with single-disc brakes and Brembo calipers, ensuring reliable stopping power. With a wet weight of just 370 pounds and a saddle height of 31.2 inches. So what's new on the bike? The latest iteration of the 450SR comes with a host of upgrades that enhance both its performance and aesthetics. Riders can look forward to 1. Traction control and the updated 10th generation Bosch ABS, making the bike safer for beginners. 2. 
Motobox connectivity tech for seamless smartphone screen projection on the 5-inch TFT display. 3. Improved riding dynamics, including optimized braking, sharper throttle response. 4. A new headlamp structure for better high beam throw, and a clearer, louder exhaust note. And 5. Two fresh liveries, Zircon Black and Starlight White, adding a touch of class and visibility to the bike one. As for the lunch, while the American arrival of the 2024 model is yet to be confirmed, the anticipation is high. The CF Moto 450 SR has already proven to be a popular choice, and with these latest enhancements, it's poised to attract even more riders looking for an affordable yet high-performing sports bike.